This video is going to demonstrate the Trendelenburg test. This test helps to spot potential hip instability. And when you perform this test, you really need to be cautious of any fall risk when you perform this test with your client. Make sure the floor is clear of any object and be very close to your client to catch them in case they lose their balance. So for this purpose, I'm going to ask Sue to stand on one leg. Put your hands on both hips, Sue. There are many variations to this test. So one of them is just a simple one, which I'm going to demonstrate here. So you again, what you're trying to look out for is any hip instability when they perform this test. One way of telling is looking at their upper body, looking at the shoulder, if everything's alignment, looking at the hip, making sure everything's alignment, looking at the knees, making sure that it's stable and alignment. So Sue, you're going to do it again. So you're going to look out for these key points. You're going to raise up your right leg. You know, hold it there for a while. Good, so everything looks even, it looks even. And she's very stable. And you're going to repeat the test on the other leg. So Sue, you're going to switch legs. Excellent. So Sue is doing a very good job in this test. You can put your legs down. So why we want to do this test is when someone body walk or somebody climb a stairs, uh, a positive test will indicate hip instability and that can cause issues when they perform things like lunges during exercise. If they do that without stable hips and without addressing that hip instability, you're at a higher risk of injuring your hip and your knee. Now for this demonstration sake, I'm going to ask Sue to demonstrate a as someone who is positive. So Sue, you're going to raise up your knees and then you're going to shift your weight one side. That's right. So you notice if someone is unstable, you want to be close to them. The shoulders tends to shift. One hips tend to be higher than the other. This one tends to adduct as they engage their adductors instead of glutes. All right, Sue, doing a very good job. Okay. All right. So this, of course, is an exaggerated movement, but it is something that you may discover when you perform this test on your client. So if they show this type of positive uh, result, you want to see which hip is weaker. If their core is weak, perhaps they have vestibular issues. So these are further things that you want to investigate further when you see a positive result like this. So soon now you're going to raise the other leg. So you want to check the left and right. So you're just going to slightly exaggerate again. All right. So straighten the right leg. You don't want to bend. So you want to keep this leg straight. That's right. We're not doing a lunge. We're just keeping a balance. All right. So Sue is trying very hard to show a bad, or not say bad, but a, a positive sign. All right. All right, stand straight. So someone who is sedentary or someone who doesn't do any form of exercise or may have a injury in history, injury somewhere, they may show this type of results. So if you see this, you want to stop and you want to investigate further with other necessary tests. If you liked this video and you want to see more, make sure to subscribe below and don't forget to hit the notification button.